In this video, I will be demonstrating how to correct errors while you're voicing in data using the voice data recording system. So the first um, level of error correction is having your data entered in a um, database entry form. If you have your database normalized, then the simple validation rules and referential integrity rules in um, a database will trap errors. What I mean is that um, your codes or categorical information in your database will be in what I call lookup tables. So there'll be a species code table or sex or maturity code table. And if you voice in an invalid entry, it'll trap it with an error message. So you can't voice in a species that doesn't exist. And with measurement fields that are numbers, you can create uh, validation rules simply when you develop the form or in your table to either provide an error message or not allow invalid or outlier values. For example, for length, I don't allow, or I have an error message that comes up if the length is less than 100 millimeters or if it's greater than 1500 millimeters. And so there's different ways by programming your entry form in a database that can trap most of your problems. And then I'll show you a couple ways with voice to correct errors on the fly. Um, demonstrate what I mean between a database and using Excel to enter data, which you could do with Dragon. Again, remember Dragon is just a speech to text or speech to command program that basically whatever you s does Basically, whatever you say, it translated into key functions or executes a command. So I'll demonstrate how we can enter things in Excel, but it will not trap errors. Wake up. Redfin. 7122. Enter. 1506. Boy. Next. Scooby-Doo, enter, 10,000, enter, two, enter, stop. So you can see Excel doesn't have the referential integrity and validation rules established, so I can voice in data that are invalid. So that's just a quick demonstration why you try to do stuff in Access. So next I'll show you how to correct errors. So you see in this fish record, there's the word junk in the notes field. And obviously that's something I don't want there. So I'm gonna show you a couple approaches to get rid of that. In Dragon, if you say the word press, it's a default command indicating that you're gonna press a key. Then after you say the word press, you can name any key on your keyboard and it'll execute that function. So what we're gonna do, is get rid of the word junk by using the delete key. Um, so I'm going to show you how that's done. Now, you see the cursor's right after the K. So in order to delete the word junk, that word has to be selected. So you can use the command select all. So Dragon does recognize Windows level menu commands, such as undo. Undo is probably going to be the command you'll use the most to do a quick correction and I'll demonstrate that. But what I also have done is created commands that override words that um, command, uh, Dragon will try to translate and convert them to commands. So for example, the word delete, if you just say delete in Dragon, and if you're operating in the normal mode, which is translating speech to text, it'll just write the word delete and I'll show you that. But what I did is I went and created a command called delete and it actually deletes data in a cell. So I'll show you how that's done. So this is the approach you'll use to override Dragon's default vocabulary uh, for certain words that you want to use as commands. So for example, as a species code lean, if I didn't program the command for it to basically type in lean lake trout as a species, it would write the word out lean. So, all right, let's show you how to get rid of the word junk. Wake up, select all, press delete, delete, stop. So you see, 
I had to select all and I used the command press and then it X and then specified which key. So it deleted that. But when I said the word delete, it didn't recognize that as a command. It recognized it as the word delete. So what we're going to do is go in. I'm going to show you how to create the command delete. So you, you just we're going to create a new command. We're going to name it delete. So at this point, once I train this and save this command, it's going to override the vocabulary word delete with a command. Delete. And we're just going to use the step-by-step -step approach to develop a command. And it's a simple keystroke. So we're going to insert, and I'm pressing the delete key on my keyboard. And you see it just comes right up when I press the delete key. So it recognizes as a uh, a key function. And we're going to hit save. So we're going to do this again. Wake up, select all, delete, stop. So this time, when I said the word delete, it recognized it as a command. So undo is going to be the most common command you'll use, but I also created a command called correction, which actually does multiple steps. It selects everything in the field and deletes it, and that's it. And then you can voice in your correction. So I'll show you how I did that just quickly. So again, as I mentioned, Dragon does recognize um, all of the menu functions. So a lot of them have... Uh, control Z or Control C, things like that, and you can program this in. So, um, what was it that I just said? So, delete, we just programmed. So, I created correction. So, again, this is a step by step function. So, in the first step, if I say the word correction, so you're in a, in a cell on your data entry form, it's going to press Control Z, which is the keystrokes to select all, then it pr presses the delete key. So, I'm going to cancel. And I'll demonstrate a few uh, error correction steps that you can take while voicing in data. And at worst, you can stop the microphone and have the data monitor or yourself go and uh, do the correction with a mouse or a keyboard. But almost all the time, you can just correct these rapidly using your voice. Wake up. Next. Lean. 6199. Backspace. Five, enter, eight, one, two, correction, six, one, two, boy, no, two, back, delete, enter, advance gonad, undo, Hook scar, undo, stop. So you see, I demonstrated a few approaches to do some corrections.